the shield is pretty great. I feel like if Islay successfully makes it, their defense is just going to be, like, bumped up to 11. It says provides slightly more defense than the wooden buckler and can be wielded on foot or while mounted on horseback. What? There are horses. I guess it's implied that there will be horses. Okay, I'm looking forward to the stable system. Unless, of course, because I haven't found any horses yet. So I'm not just sure how that works. But that's pretty fantastic. They've got that in mind. Yeah. It serves as useful protection via deflecting blows in melee combat. Whereas this, let's read the, the iron shield is a mid-sized shield crafted from iron ingots and has a, ver a, a very distinct hmm, triangle shape. This shield provides slightly more defense than the wooden buckler and can be wielded on foot or while mounted on horseback. I mean, the more defense, the better, really. We can make some steel boots, booties. That'd be great, really, would it? We can make a, a steel great helm. I feel pretty great about that. If we make one of them, that would really sort of bump up the defense, I like to think. But it should only be scra scra ugh, crafted by a skilled blacksmith. So that would use our iron ingots. So maybe we don't do that. Well, our steel and iron ingots. I really wish their defense rating would have showed up. It really doesn't. Screw it. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> We're going to do it. Who's going to wield it? I feel like the swordsman should wield it. I feel like the, the Halberdian guy is uh, good enough. When it comes to his abilities to use that. Come on, Islay. Use your powers. I'm not just sure what powers that would really be. This looks nice, though. I like that. I'm not just sure why I like that. But I like that. I like it a lot. We're going to do that. I'm going to make this, this again. Uh, it's going to be the same sort of system, I suppose. So we, what we will have is we'll go to build... Fences go up by two, and then we will have the field stone on the top. How am I going to make this? Okay, I'm going to have to do the field stone first, and then I do this, and then I make the fences. That will work out, and then we can put the um, lighting up there. And that'll look pretty fantastic. That's just more sort of lighting. It's pretty great. Did you successfully make the shield is late? Probably didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. It looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling pretty vicious right now. I feel like I want to go out and destroy some skeleton scum, but I feel like the second I do that is the second I get raided by something. So maybe I shouldn't do that and just wait for them to come to us. It would be easier. Uh, it's too late now anyway, because they're already sort of approaching anyway. Ah, screw it. Let's go fight them on their own turf. Oh, wait. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to eat something. All right, then. Right, let's go fight them on their own, uh, on their own turf. I don't know what I'm saying. So let's uh, idle. Idle up. Also, seek and attack enemies is pretty much imperative right now. I was going to say imperative. It is quite imperative, I would like to say. So if we get these guys crossing the river and then someone's going to spawn over here, that would be fantastic. It wouldn't be fantastic. It would be awful. But that's the, that's why it's funny, ladies and gentlemen, because it's the opposite of what that what it actually is. Yeah, guys, no, this guy's gonna be the slowest Hulk in the world now. Hmm. But oh well, in the world of Islay, that is. Okay, we don't know if this is Earth. This could be. Well, it's not Earth. It's not Earth. It's Islay. Well, is May actually? Well, Isling, I Islington, the third. Don't know what happened to the other two. <laughs> no one knows. But it's a mystery shrouded in, in hate and really bad taxization. Also, the skeletons... Oh, here we go. He's coming back. Good shot. Good form. Good form there, Hood. I like it. You're showing your um your dark side. It's good. Use the power of the dark siders, of the horsemen. To, uh, I have played that game recently. Even though I played it before, but I played it again, again, recently. By recently, I mean... A month ago. It's alright. There's a few PC problems. Because I played the PC version. Obviously, I just plugged the controller in. Because it's easy to play that game with a controller. Like, good luck playing that with a keyboard. I think I did play it with a keyboard the first time, though. 
But I didn't have a controller, so that was mostly it. Or at least one that I could plug into the computer. Efficiently. And even then, I prefer to use a keyboard and a mouse. But I mean, for games like that, controllers are always top form. Racing games and stuff like that. I'd rather use it. Gamepad, even. There's a better name for it. Gamepad. Gamepad everything. I want to find, like, a PC exclusive one, though. So I've just got an Xbox one. And I feel like sort of getting a neat little PC version that maybe has a different functionality, a few extra buttons. I'm not too sure. I think that'd be pretty neat. That owl-looking one that Steam's making is interesting. There's a wolf over there. I didn't think about the wolves. Oh, well, we can go and kill him. He's going to come towards us, which is fantastic for us. I'm going to send him back because I want the Halberdian to deal with it. Oh, beautiful. Right, so what we do is pause because we've got to, got to pay attention right now. I thought our, thought our base is on fire then. See, this isn't good. These torches keep are going to keep making me think that our house is on fire. Even though it's our base and not our house. But but that's fine. <laughs> I, I was testing you. Sure, that's what I was doing. So we'll get the wall sconce up here. And then we'll also get this building done. Not the farm. Not the farm at all. God, so much food. It's ridiculous. So much food. So what we do is this. I'm sure this is the, des the design that we were following before. And we want to do it here as well. In fact, we don't need that one there because that's pointless. So that let's just double check here. From here it'll be four, and then it will be eight, and then it'll be something. Just making sure it's the same on this side, really. So this should that's four, and then that's eight. So just double check that's four. Yep, and then that 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 works out. That suits up. So what we will do is stick with that. I feel like this this is going to build anyway because it goes free up, doesn't it? And then it's just got that layer that they can build on anyway. So yeah, that's been fixed relatively quickly. That problem has been averted. Yep. So, yeah, that's good. Good thing we noticed that. Good good job, me. <laughs> I referred it to all of us again, which wasn't the idea. I found it. Okay, me. Not you. Me. <laughs> God, I sound like such a douche. Maybe that's the idea, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I'm just a douche. Man. Revelation. Revelation. No great. <laughs> anyway, let's kill the uh, skeleton over here, because I feel like he is betrayer of all sort of faiths, as it were. Also, I need to not record it long. No, I need to stop in a minute. Even though I want to go on, I need to stop because otherwise I won't be able to respond to comments too quickly. Like, I need to start making sort of two videos. With Land of His Lay, though, it's so difficult because real progress can only be made in, like, four videos. So... <laughs> well, progress is always being made, actually, so that's what I've learned playing this game, you know? Even the littlest thing is progress, but that's, the only, that's just my way of rationalizing that I may have actually done something or not, even though I probably haven't. Also, we need to kill all these goblins, because one of them's a swordsman. This guy, I'm going to have to worry about a bit more. The hood's going to have to go for him, but hopefully he won't die like he is nearly have against archers so many times. I'm just double-checking there's no enemies, because if there, if there is a hint of enemies spawning over here, then I want to get out. I want to get our soldiers over here as quick as possible. It looks fine. Also, there's a wolf up here that I missed. Let's just get rid of it. That looks good to me. How much more raw stone do we have? Let alone that. How many, like, raw materials have we just found? <laughs> no. Wow. So let's go ahead and... Oh, right. Right. We're not even... We're not nearly there. Oh, that's a good point. We don't have a proper pickaxe to mine anything decent. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make a steel pick. Go. Let's go for it. Let's make two of them. Screw it. Let's go mental. Yeah. Screw the system. That's what we're doing right now. Should we also go and kill that matriarch? What's happening right now? Nah, let's not kill the matriarch. I like it being there because it means nothing else is going to spawn. So, <laughs> I'm basically breaking the game right now. It's pretty fantastic. I'm going to exploit the game's bugs because the game is brutal. So I've got to use its brutalness against itself. Sure, that's what I'm going to do. God, I feel good about this guy. He's just a beast. I feel, I, like, I feel like we need more of like these Halberdian... True warriors. Level 14 warrior. Well, infantryman. I infantry. Even though a friend of mine said stop calling them infantrymen. I've, I've just called them that more now to annoy them. So, so yeah. Infantry. Infantryman. There we go. Wolf is slain by Hood. Hood also slain someone else. Looks like a Kipling 
cake right now. Mm, I could do with them right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna work on the cake. It's delicious. Also, we're being ravaged by nothing. I mean, we're not being ravaged at all. We just gotta hope we don't run into another necromancer. Because if we do, then this Kipling guy is gonna take a little while to get to his prey. Good, good form. Good double team. Ah, oh, very good. I'm liking this. This double team combo, Halberdian Mega Blasts combo. <laughs> what it's officially named. Don't know if you knew that. That's the official name for it. Just made it up right now. No, I didn't. No, I didn't make it up right now. Official. I said official name. I didn't say made up name. <laughs> anyway. Do we have any more enemies to kill? If we do... Oh, we do. <laughs> They're all over there. And it looks like all of these guys are sleeping. It looks like all of these walls may be dead or sleeping. I don't really want to test that fact. Also, all these skeletons have just been sort of standing. Oh, they're all in the they're all in the world. Well, that's fantastic. I don't have to worry about more skeletons spawning then. <laughs> Eventually, nothing's going to spawn. I would love that. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't love that. A little bit of combat is always nice. It's sort of the challenge. It's just this game has offered a lot of it. So maybe I just feel a little bit fatigued and want a less combat for the time being. But only for the time being. We need to kill these goblins, though. Because they're going to be a bit annoying. And I want to just deal with them. Because I hate hearing them every now and then just going, Arr! Actually, then again, if I kill those guys, then more of them may spawn. I'm not just sure how this mort spawning system works. It's just a matriarch hasn't spawned in ages, whereas they would have if they we had another matriarch. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, maybe, just maybe, I'm not a select this guy, but maybe they have a select limit of how much of a certain creature can be spawned based on what's already there. Hmm. Maybe. However, that was the best drink of water I've ever had. <laughs> that was really just... There are some wolves coming in for the kill. Mr. Kipling's going to one-shot those buggers like there's no tomorrow. Go on, Kipling. Show Moo's boss. You don't get one shot. Don't you dare get one shot. Ah, oh, the wolf got one shot. Fantastic. I thought Kipling was going to get one shot. This, uh, I'm very scared right now because I feel like it's just like critical combo. One million damage. Oh, well, that was fun, wasn't it? That was fantastic. So what do we do right now? We move in to kill the archer first. So yeah, I want to kill this archer. Because I feel like he's just a massive douche. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Hunter, uh, the hood even, is going to go ahead and do it. So the hood, I would like you to stand out of the line of fire. Oh, it doesn't matter. You're going to take him down easy mode. Easy peasy. Super easy. Right, so we killed that guy. Where is his friend? We need to take out this fire pit, but I don't think it matters. Eh, his friend's probably gone. Eh, return, to, return to duty. Good sirs, you have done us a service today. And you shall both be awarded. Uh, rewarded, award, even. Standard guard position, standard guard position. They should both go back now. If I move them. No? Hmm, standard guard position. Uh, I guess maybe I need to bring him over here. Where are they? Huh, that's interesting. Go on. If I send them close enough to water, they might do it. Food and seeds are actually full. We need more food and seeds. Too much food, too much seeds, not enough people. The thing is, that's sort of the compromise right now. Like... I guess I could turn one of the fishermen into a soldier. That would work out. Well, the archer in it, if anything. Like, Hood should really be an archer. Let's be honest here. But then he's already a level 15 sort of soldier. Like, what do we really want from him there? God, I did say I would lay over the level of the land, didn't I? I didn't end up doing that. I ended up just faffing about with this. I ended up fixing it, though. I don't mind too much. I mean, I hope you don't mind too much. You probably do. But oh well. Also, we don't have any more iron, but that's fine. We should be able to have a good amount now with these uh, steel pickaxes. I imagine Islay successfully made them. He better have Islay. <laughs> if you didn't, then you're going on stonemason duty. You're going to go on stonemason duty anyway, so that doesn't matter. Also, we need the guy to chop down these logs. Because like I said before, they are too close. Way too close. And these are fine, because we need those. We need them. They're different. They're different, okay? Right, so we need this archer. We need him now. We can't have him because he's level 9 fisherman. 
Someone that's not that great at fishing, like they're just new at it, but then also a good archer at the same time. Maybe someone that's a farmer instead. We got a miner right here. Uh, free, free. He was originally an archer. No one's good at being an archer. Robert Dud. You should definitely be the archer. Robert Dud. Obviously, this makes so much sense. Right, so Robert Dud, the archer. I'm going to have you up here, I feel. Like, I have a large waiting area just around here for you, Robert Dud. You, you alone shall be the savior this uh, area needs, basically. Do we have any arrows? No, we do not. Can we go and kill some chickens? We could. Could if we tried. But am I going to try? I mean, that's the question, isn't it? Should I go and herd chickens? Well, there's one right there that we can go and just devour right now. So what I'll do is you, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Sharon, right now. <laughs> Hello, Sharon. How you doing? Uh, the archer sh was probably a good forager. Yep. You'll go and forage your own arrows. Herd? What? No, no, no. Kill the chicken. Beast upon it. What am I doing? <laughs> right. So feast upon the chicken. Hunt for chickens. That should be better. Yep, the soldiers are back, which is always good to see. And they'll get back into their positions. Can we actually specifically set... Oh, uh, yeah, we can. So no archers in these, just infantry. That's awesome. Merv is, like, feasting the door. Come on, Merv, get off. Come on. No, no, no escape. I'll let you out in a minute. He's usually stuck in the room all day when I'm at work, so... You know, like the after I do this, I usually let him around the house. Let him have a little look around and he enjoys it. Yeah. Can't you gotta let a parrot roam free? Come on. Look at how much food we've got. This is fantastic. Never have I been so happy to be a food giver, as it were. Right, so Robert dude is I think he just got that level for building, even though he's harvesting a chicken right now. But that's, uh, well, that's not really that fine. Only one feather, wow. Arrows are quite difficult to obtain. They can be quite treacherous as well to obtain. So we gotta, we got to keep our eye open right now. Because we could run into wolves. We don't want that. No siree. Level 20 farmer. Hey, wizard right now. Showing off the wizardry skills. Yeah, don't go over there because... Oh, no, he's stuck in there. <laughs> Stop getting stuck. Everyone keeps getting stuck, and I just keep thinking that the enemy is going to just annihilate us, but it doesn't end up being the case. Go over there and eat that chicken, then go eat the other chicken. Fantastic. Ooh, a new person! Looks like you're a blacksmith. Hello, blacksmith. Did you bring any decent tools? Because blacksmiths usually do. Let's see. A steel hammer and a copper sword. Not great. <laughs> The steel hammer's alright though. He's got bad vision, he's charismatic, he's disloyal and clumsy. What is he in everything else? I mean... He's another soldier actually. That's not bad. I could have another soldier. I don't mind that. Having a third soldier, like infantry soldier, is always nice. It's better than having just the archer anyway. So like, we can have one archer, three infantry. I feel really content with that. Let's have you be a soldier. And then what we'll do is we'll have you sort of guard here instead. Is that good enough? Or can we have you guard down here? Oh, Merv, what are you doing? What are you doing, Merv? We can have him guard this area. I feel good about that. About the, uh... But I think for now, we'll just have him here. How do we get this guard stuff done? I completely forgot. <laughs> Military... No design. Military. Patrol route. Okay, here we go. So this is what I want to do. I want to make a patrol route for this guy. Like, up and down this area. Right click to remove. So what do we do? We, like... Ooh! This is nice. I like that. So if we uh, restart and just do that. That's awesome! This patrol route thing is amazing. Of course, it can go a bit bad, I suppose. It can't, like, be oh, too great. I wonder if they walk. If they run, that would be really annoying. But if they walk, that would be pretty great. So, very much, we've got a guard just going up and down this area. Hopefully, he doesn't get in the way of these uh, fishermen. But, I feel pretty safe. And that's the main thing. That's the main point, ladies and gentlemen. Is that I feel safe. 
The thing is, I also feel safe knowing that all of my guards are around here. So, <laughs> maybe, maybe I just n don't do that. Maybe I don't do that. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think when these re these patrol routes will become more prominent when these walls are done, because then I can have a cool patrol route with the archer just going around here. Of course, he's gonna have to like walk across here to restart it again, but I don't mind that too much. So what we'll do is we'll, re we'll cancel that and we'll just go to guard position, and then we'll set this bit in here as a guard position. Let's remove that one. <laughs> oh fuck he's very adventurous he just failed to do something okay i'm, I'm actually stuck ladies and gentlemen i am uh, currently stuck i don't know what, what's going on right no we do the guard position it can go right here there we are there is a guard position for no archers fantastic i like that we can also make a guard position up here for archers Although, I kind of want the guard position to be up here. Because that's a much better place. And that can be for archers. How prominent can that be? I'm trying to increase the radius. Okay, it's a bit awkward. That's good. Can we allow two archers? We can. If the radius is different. I don't see the point of that. And then we can put another one on this side. So, guard position. Merv is now feasting on the door. That's not great. There we are. For uh, archers only. There we are. More guard positions. Basically, uh, protecting the front as much as possible. Let's see how the guy is going on. Oh, he's still not made it. He will eventually make it. However, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like it's a good time to end it now. Because I've been recording for a while. Have I? I think there's a good five minutes left. I, like, I feel like an hour is good. Like, for, for Timber and Stone, the exception should be an hour. And maybe two episodes for everything else. Okay, maybe maybe an hour. What I usually do is record until I sort of get a bit tired. And then I want to sort of get the processing done and everything out of the way before I go to bed. But, I kind of want to play a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh, where are you going? Kill that guy. A chicken is your salvation. Robert dead. I mean, dude. Dread. Robert dread. Hmm. Yeah, so how is that other infantryman doing anyway? Because we got this guy. But then I guess the other one has just gone to bed or something. There's food. I don't even see him. That's the thing. I actually don't know. Oh, there he is. He's uh, stuck sleeping. Standard guard, guard position, seek and destroy. He's not wearing the best gear in the world, but he does have a wooden buckler, which is a great. It's always something to extra to have. Also, keep an eye on that feather guy. Feather guy. Where is the feather guy? He's going all the way back, isn't he? I bet he's hungry, but that's what it is. Is it because he's hungry? Yep, he's slightly hungry. So he has to go and feast upon the world, basically, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, always fine. I do not mind anyone doing that whatsoever. We need to finish off this construction over here, and then everything will be absolutely perfect. Until that happens, though. I feel like... Oh, there we go. There's our little squad, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our three infantrymen, and we're going to have one archer. Defense has gone up the roof, okay? That's where all the budgets go in. Defense. Yes, that's where we needed to go. Okay. Just as long as we, you know, don't have to pay them after they're of work. Because, you know, that would that would be too much money, you know. That would be human, wouldn't it? To pay them afterwards. Mm. Yeah. And then we get huge debts. Fantastic. Don't go over there, you... You know what? We're not going to have an archer. <laughs> We're not going to have an archer until this guy stops playing up. In fact, what we will do is we will turn you back into something else and then we'll make one of the fishermen's herders and collect those chickens. So yeah, I have been Bidis playing Land of His Lay. I didn't get what I said I was going to do done, but we'll do that next episode, if I remember to do it next episode. 
In which case, I might not do a next episode. I'm not too sure. What have we done this episode? Small bits and pieces, basically. Little bit of progress. That's about it. Loads of food. Nothing has been really built other than this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to like, friend, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.